Hello, welcome to A Few Moments in Science. My name is Mike and I'm the Education Coordinator Science Person here at WGVU. And today what we're going to do is work with air pressure again. And I know we've done some with air pressure, but I have to be honest, air pressure is just fun stuff to work with, especially in science. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat the air inside these bottles. And when I do, those molecules inside the bottle are moving really, really fast, all crazy all over the place. Then I'm going to put a cap on those bottles. I'm going to pour the water out, and then I'm going to put a cap on those bottles. And when I put the cap on those bottles, the air inside of there cools really quickly, which means those molecules are going to start to come together really, really close, and they take up less space in that bottle. So when that happens, the air pressure on the outside here is going to collapse these bottles in, all right? So it's the power of air pressure collapsing the bottles in, all right? So here we go. And what I'm going to do is put the cap on to heat the air inside of there. And like I said, at that moment now what's happening is the air inside of there is heating up really quickly and those molecules are moving around really fast. All right. Then when I pour the water out and put the cap back on, you'll see almost how quickly that that air inside that bottle is cooling. Those molecules are coming together and the air on the outside is collapsing that in. All right, so that's with just a small bottle. So I thought, let's try a bigger bottle. So we're gonna try a two liter bottle and we'll see if we get the same result. All right, so same thing with the two liter. We'll heat the air inside of there. Get those molecules to move really quickly. Take the cap off, pour the water out. And we put the cap back on and same thing will happen. The air inside of there is cooling quickly and the air on the outside is actually collapsing that bottle in at a quick rate, all right? So we did a small bottle, two liter. I thought we gotta go bigger with something. So we have to try a water jug to see if that power of air pressure can actually collapse this water jug as well. So, here we go. And this one takes a little bit longer. It's not as quickly as what these two happen, but this one will collapse. We'll watch. So as you can see, air pressure collapsed all of these plastic containers in. And this is one that you can do at home. It's pretty safe. You just have to use warm water, maybe hot or warm tap water, um, but maybe wear a protective glove as well. But I'm going to now let the air back inside of those containers so that they go back to their original shape. Okay. So here we go. This one, as much as possible, will go back. This one can't guarantee what's... Nope, not all the way back. This one will be more dramatic. This one you will definitely see for sure go back to its original shape. Here we go. Give me a countdown of three. Three, two, one. And that's a few moments in science. <laughs> 